Guys, the Match Composer is coming. It's coming like very, very quickly. We actually finally got a blog detailing everything we need to know about the Match Composer and it looks pretty awesome. And that's something I'm really excited about when it comes to Halo Infinite, getting able to play how you want finally after so many years of playing this game but there are some limitations to it that i want to showcase to you guys within this video so real quick if you guys enjoy these type of videos make sure you tap like and subscribe because apparently only 64 percent of you guys are subscribed to the channel if you want to stay up to date with gaming halo and everything else in between well make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details so let's work our way down this blog some really good information here so the first thing we're going to talk about guys is how is this whole thing going to work well there's going to be basically two different setups for it there's going to be a, you first you choose your team composition that being a 4v4 btb or free for all style match and then you pick the specific mode you want after that and 3 for 3 provides us a quick little example of what we're looking at here so this person selected all the 4v4 modes you'd like to play you can select which ones you want to have in your rotation when it comes to playing halo infinite which to me is fantastic being able to choose the way you want to play which is something we've been asking for for quite some time surprised it wasn't there at launch and it's in the master chief collection people really enjoyed it i just want to say that we've come a long way with halo infinite when it comes to playlists i mean remember the launch right here guys of having bought bootcamp quick play big team bell and ranked arena were the only options at launch and one of those bot boot camp was really just against bots so you really only had three playlists to choose from from the wide variety of decades of halo we've had to only have three at launch this feels wild not even team slayer as an option but i'm glad to see that we finally have a match composer where people can choose how they want to play and for some more details here they say originally players were just able to select team arena which would end up putting you into any of the supported game modes within that playlist now you'll be able to compose your match experience from the start and only search and play the specific types of experiences you want to play within a playlist. You can compose parameters and search one playlist at a time. So yeah, play how you want. That's exactly what I've been wanting for the longest time. The great thing about the Match Composer though is that it allows people to play very more niche modes that could probably condense the population a little bit more as they do stay here saying that niche offerings that are purposely regulated to limited time rotations and make them permanent in the Match Composer for choices. For example, like Team Snipers will be available to play all the time now within the Quick Play playlist. So I know I see it almost in every single comment section, right? People are talking about like, oh, why did my mode leave Halo Infinite? If anything, it's kind of disparaging, right? The bring these modes back that people enjoy and then take them away. I understand maybe the population might not be sustainable, but maybe the population isn't sustainable because people know that playlist is just going to be gone within a couple of weeks. And so why grind up that skill set to learn to perfect your abilities within that mode? So it totally makes sense why maybe people wouldn't be willing to grind things as much. There's a reason why I don't play like ranked team slayer or ranked doubles or anything like that, because it's a grind mode, right? To rank your character up. And once it leaves, I'm not gonna be able to play it anymore. Like, yeah, your rank does carry over, but it's like a totally different type of skill set and different type of vibe. And I'm not gonna spend time trying to get good at ranked team snipers when I know it's just going to be gone. And I won't be able to play it that again within what, like a month or two or something like that. So we'll see how these more niche modes kind of survive within the match composer. Uh, I'm definitely excited to see you know, what's gonna be available at launch, which they do hint at later in this video. But they did state also that by default, every mode will be enabled. So if you just hit play, you're gonna be finding yourself a lot a wide variety of matches there so make sure when you go into your game once on june 4th once this does come in to select exactly what you want you also see examples for btb right because be traditionally btb was just play btb now you can choose like ctf fiesta ctf escalations btb uh, fiesta control stockpile so you get some pretty good variety within the match composer as well not just play btb or not now this is a very important thing for me personally as a person who enjoys playing ranked halo infinite the most out of all the other modes out there i might kind of suck but at least i enjoy playing that version of the game i was worried that you select 4v4 you'll get social and ranked mixed in together that would not be a good thing but it looks like it was clarified right here saying in general, most social players will have match composer options, but ranked will not. And we have some new ranked modes that are going to be permanent because the match composer gives you that option. We'll get into that a little bit later, but first let's go into what's going to be there day one on June 4th, right? We'll have the Tenrai 4 event, which will have eight player free for all. Uh, they don't really state specifically what mode this is going to be, but they said it's a Tenrai themed mode on the map. Hanami, I'm guessing is how you pronounce that, which if you guys have played the previous Tenrai event, you probably recognize this map right here. This might be another one of just being like that, uh, the 
uh, Ninja Slayer, right? I think it was called like a free for all mode there. So probably gonna be a very similar experience. That's my expectation at least. Uh, we also will have quick play, which will include modes like from Team Slayer to Husky Race. So pretty much all your full reform modes are gonna be lumped in together. They did also mention there will be some community version specific modes as well within the 4v4. Just kind of scroll through and select which ones you want really. I uh, will have team doubles, we'll have rumble pit as well. Infection, big team battle. Again, you'd be able to choose your varieties that you'd like. So standard BTB, BTB heavies, and all the variety of modes within that as well. And squad battle, you'll be able to choose specifically what mode you like to play within squad battles as well. But previously it was just play squad battles, right? But you have a choice of like CTF, King of the Hills, Slayer, One Flag, Land Grab, and Total Control. My suggestion would be to select all of these modes if you want a quick match time, but you know, it's up to you how you want to make that happen. You will also have the Legendary Firefight, Heroic Firefight, and Normal Firefight as options as well. They also stated that each of these three Firefight playlists will offer the same options of regular Firefight King the Hill, Grunt Poculips, and Grunt Poculips Fiesta within each one of these, which is fantastic. And the cool thing is that Legendary Firefight sounds like it's gonna be a permanent mode now, which again was one of the more difficult things within Halo Infinite's matchmaking system that they had at the moment. They would kind of have to rotate it in just to kind of freshen things up so people will get excited to play Legendary or or at least give heroic and normal some time for people to play but you know it's up to them how they want to make that happen right it's up to you if you want to have a quick match time or a slow match time depending on how specific you want to search now my bread and butter where i live when it comes to halo infinite the ranked playlist right here i so said these playlist options will not be supported by the match composer so you won't be able to select within the variety of this which i think is a good move because it's a different type of player set a different type of mindset when it comes to playing ranks i'm glad they made that distinction there and they said you have your ranked arena which will just be your regular mode just playing regular ranked arena they also now have ranked slayer and ranked doubles which are going to be permanent modes now as confirmed by tashi here on twitter where it said that richie Hines made an announcement this weekend that ranked slayer and ranked doubles will go live permanently with 10 right four but there also will be a ranked tactical mode which be a rotational option as well so we will have rotational plays still within the match composer realm and right here 343 provides an option on what it will look like once you have all your modes selected you can select your boost for xps and you're seeing your map list mixed in with all that and you just hit play and to reiterate they did say that this comes along with 10 right 4 relaunching on june 4th here it actually is going to be a patch note so i'm going to come along with this with some extra updates and details and what's going to be coming along with this and some exchange refreshes and the 10 right operation pass which we already know a little bit about. As provided by one of our favorite leaky boys out there on Twitter, Bath Robe Spartan put together this amazing graphic showcasing what the next Operation Pass is going to be. And it's going to be very similar to what we had with the Banished Operation of mainly earning Spartan points for the exchange while also unlocking a set of armor for your character. Again, 10 right focus. This is basically the same armor set that we saw with the Content 32 update when it came to the customization from that blog. And judging by the description of this free-for-all playlist, it seems like it's going to be very similar to probably bringing back that Ninja Slayer mode that we had. And likely we will be receiving a remake of the map Relic, most likely thrown into the squad battles playlist, guys, called Vestige. And this is a, another Sparrowsoft Forge map I showcased this previously in the channel, but so we're all on the same page here. You can kind of see what we're looking at. This is basically, yeah, it's going to be, well, Relic put into Halo Infinite. I think it's going to be, again, kind of criticized very similar to what we had with Corrosion of just not being like the prettiest, most exciting looking map out there, but I'm sure it will play out very well. It does look good for what it is at the moment, not like very decently well forged, but it just kind of lacks that like almost like art level that a lot of forgers can create we've seen previously when it comes to other map recreations like that damnation remake that we had from infinite forges out there that looks absolutely incredible i don't know why that one's not just permanently in the game because it looks amazing where this one looks very standard and well i do love relic i'll definitely jump in and play it and show you guys what, what it's like to play on these maps in 2024 but it just it lacks that little bit of excitement you would get from having like a really cool looking map you know what i mean if you made it this far into the video i appreciate you guys watching and if you made it this far leave a green heart comment let them know who the real ones are out there i do plan to make a video talking about the recent assassin's creed issues that are going on right now i think it's a very interesting topic that i want to touch on if you guys missed any content from me recently check out these videos right here and i appreciate you all thank you very much for watching catch you on the next one peace out